Oh, I'm behind you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> hang on, I'll, I'll walk this way. No, that, that's, that's not gonna make it better. So in the course of filming, there have been some clips that, for obvious reasons, didn't make it in. These are my outtakes. Normally, I do not have any profanity in my videos. That rule is not the case for this one. Something I cut. Something I covered in my. Something I covered in my video on engaging the mechanics was to talk about. Uh, so something I. So something I discussed in in. Well, if you ears. If you ask them for a repeated spell. Fuck. Oh, fuck. But they want a new. Fuck. What did I just say? A few rather amusing stories came out of this. The first one happened when the Iron Forges Iron initiative happened back in December. That was the idea of people critiquing other people's channels. And the person I chose for that was Runeslinger for his Casting Shadows videos. And I thought he had a lot to say, so I chose him. And he did a very good review of my channel, so I went through his backlog. And I watched a few videos that I hadn't actually watched before because I'll be honest, it's hard to get me to click on a video that's over 10 minutes long. And one of the first ones I watched was an introduction to his series on Simulationist as a style of gameplay. Which, very, the very start of that video mentions how he was inspired by Emergent Play to create it. And I didn't watch that video when it first came out because it was too long. I'm a jerk. Even systems or games that don't require preps. Even systems or gamers that don't require prep. Even systems or games or... Or going back to the fiasco example, to create the play... <sighs> ah, motherfucker. With the magic... Ah, fuck. Certainly learn that the player... That the... Fuck, fuck, fuck. It is a great example of a weak frame. This will be the last anecdote, I promise. So the first really nice day this year, I happened to get out and do a little bit of filming. And I'm coming back to where my car is parked in one of these little parking areas next to a nature trail. And as I get back, there is somebody in a car parked beside mine, and she's kind of turned sideways in the driver's seat facing out the pass-through window, and smiling and, and like looking in my direction, and there's kind of a, a goofy looking grin on her face, and I'm trying to piece together what, what I'm missing from this situation, because there's clearly something going on here. But I tried to ignore it. I go back to my car, and I glance up and I'm being watched. And I, you know, put my camera away, put on my sunglasses, get the car going, and I'm being watched. And just as I'm about to pull out, I look over and I realize that the passenger seat of this car that she's in is fully reclined, and there's a gentleman lying back in that seat. And then I understand. In this series, blah, 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 blah. Yep. In this series, we'll be discussing the concepts behind tabletop role-playing games. We, our goal... Blah, blah. It's good because I fired in a net take. Awesome. I didn't want that on my face when I moved. <laughs> <laughs> Face just goes red slowly, like... <laughs>